Tuesday in Holy Week. Station at St. Prisca. In the porch of the Palace of Gala, the daughter of the Consul Simulcus, Amdiaveral Church existed. Gala, on entering a convent, turned her own house into a hospital and refuge for the poor, in the time of Pope John I. A new church now exists, a little distant from the ancient site. The Basilica of St. Prisco on the Aventine is rightly associated with the Roman domestic church of Aquila and Priscilla. Saluted by St. Paul. It is one of the most ancient sanctuaries in Rome, hallowed by the presence and ministry of St. Peter and St. Paul. Under the high altar lies the body of Prisca, a virgin and martyr, not the wife of Aquila and disciple of St. Paul. The Mass is a celebration of the mysteries of the Passion of the Redeemer, that we may derive there from the fruit which the Church offers us in the Holy Liturgy. We are not simply commemorating an historic event. The works of Christ bear fruit when they are recalled, and have the same divine power when the Church expounds them to the Christian world today as they had when they were first done or spoken before the Jews. Only in the Middle Ages was St. Mark's account of the Passion introduced as the Gospel for his Mass. The psalm of the introit is the most beautiful prayer that we can, in union with the Church, lift up to Christ crucified. May the light of His countenance shine upon us. May God have mercy on us and bless us. His dying eyes are fixed on us in love, and that glance is a living and shining ray which enlightens the whole world. O Ramus! Almighty and eternal God! Grant that we may so celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion that we may deserve to obtain Thy pardon. Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum. Amen.